a long time ago. There were mice and men. Now men do not like mice. So what did we do? We used a 3D printer to make a mouse trap. And it works! Yes, really! The proof is in the following video. It looks like the little trap worked. Well, hopefully, we'll now release. Uh, mouse. Come on. Mouse. Mouse. Uh, mouse trap I'm going to make. I'm going to use Blender 2.76B. <laughs> This is a rather exciting time for me. Right here is the beginning of my print. Really not a great deal to show. We're up to the uh, 4 hour 50 mark at the moment. It's uh, starting to grow quite a bit now. And here we are, six and a half hours later. Now I wouldn't be getting impatient, would I, by any chance? Now we're really getting up there. Starting to get quite large. Okay, printing has finished. I was actually going to try and get the last couple of seconds uh, before the printer stopped, but the phone rang and uh, that was the end of that. A grand total of seven hours and 40 minutes and here it is the little mouse trap that I've been making this is the one that I've been printing out the uh, one I designed 100% in blender it's got a little trap door on the bottom here that's angled at 45 degrees down the bottom here so mouse put a bit of food in here mouse gets inside gets tra uh, trapped inside I've got a little uh, release chute on the other side so you can put him down and pull out the uh, the release the mouse runs away so um, my tolerances are a little bit on the tight side uh, blender doesn't really have any measuring devices as such so um, it's basically <laughs> have a go at it and see if you can uh, get it right I've also put as I say a couple of little holes on the top here so you can actually see if there's a mouse in there and uh, I'll be putting it to the test and seeing if it works bit of luck we'll have a mouse in there tomorrow this is version 2 of the mouse trap I've made and here we are this is mouse trap version number 2 and here we are this is uh, mouse trap version number 2 now there's a couple of um, changes from the original one that was the original door and I found that that it's a little bit sticking, a bit, um, bit tight. So we've got rid of that one. We've replaced it with see-through door. And that just slides in nicely into the back here. So you can now see if there's a mouse in it. I had, on the original version one, I had slots in the top. 
but you couldn't actually look down and see if there was anything in it and the only way to really do it was either pull the uh, end up or lift the flap on the other side so I've decided that that is a, a much better option. I also noticed that um, putting feed in the in the actual trap itself something for the mouse to eat like if you're using peanut butter for argument's sake it's extremely difficult to get it down sort of in this area so even with the flat pulled up it's it's really fiddly so what I've um, decided to do was create a new little piece and you notice there's a bit of a ridge in here now I'll bring that up a bit now that's uh, a modification that I'm quite pleased about the idea is that the trap door which is this little piece here which will slot in it, it sits in an angle something like that inside the um, the actual trap this is the feed tray that goes in so you can actually slide it in so it slots slots in nicely there that little slot that I was referring to that bit there now angles in on this so that actually drops in position to hold it in place. Now that stops the mouse from sticking its nose under here and lifting the trap and getting out so that's um, something I'm sort of curious about to see whether that works so yeah that's uh, one of the modifications I've made. Another thing after printing this out I thought well what I should have done which I will do <laughs> on version 3 is pop a little ridge around the edge of this as well and that way, like if you're using, um, you know, cornflakes or, or, you know, broken up biscuits or whatever, they'll actually stay in the tray rather than sort of dropping off the side. Um, so that'll be the next version. Here is the uh, mouse trap all fully assembled. You'll notice the feed tray isn't dropping out at the moment. If I lift that flap up, there she goes. So that um, shows you that that little mechanism in there is working nicely. So it actually drops down and should, uh, because of the angle and the little V I've got in here, it should stop the mouse from lifting the trap um, door up and escaping. I've also um, closed up the tolerances a little bit and uh, loosened this one up because when I was releasing the mouse, the original um, uh, release door was a little bit solid. I, I kind of didn't allow enough tolerances in it. So, yeah, um, this one also, you can push... Um, push this piece in it's it's actually quite quite stiff to get it in position but once it's in there it's uh, working really well it looks like the little trap worked well hopefully we'll now release uh, mouse come on mouse mouse